wonderful monday october 24 2022 to god be the glory for yet another wonderful day that we can experience the lord's faithfulness his grace his mercy his love i know you're excited and for those of us who are in the public school system or who are parents of students or just associated listen this is the first day yeah, the kids had a break on Friday of reflection, but this is now the start, the beginning of something new and exciting. Yes, it's the first day of the second term or the second quarter. And like I said, we had a great time yesterday as far as the metaphor of anniversary celebration being broken down in four quarters. Well, guess what? We're in the second quarter and a lot can take place during this time what are you going to do what are you going to determine to put in place so that you do god's perfect will but most of all you are you are a human being and you're being conformed to the image of christ every day you're not the same you're not how you were last week or last year you're growing yeah if you're the same if you're stagnant then something is wrong we need to spend some time with our creator our maker all right well i don't know what you're confronted with maybe you're gonna have some meetings coming up i know i'm gonna have some meetings this week and jesus gave us guidance when we might be brought in front of important people and you have to witness or you have to take a stand or you have to give some statements on, well, on any matter. Well, it says in verse 11, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought. You don't have to rehearse. As long as you're connected within the spirit of the Lord, that you are connected to the vine and you're just a branch, just like you see the trees in the background you are just an extension of your father you are an ambassador you are a spokesperson he said take no thought beforehand what you're going to speak neither do ye premeditate right you're not going to be so caught up and okay am i going to do this am i going to say this or okay this is my outline mm -mm. let the holy spirit take over because it says but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, the self same minute in that time, it says that speak ye for it is not ye that speak. No, it's not about you, but the Holy Ghost. Doesn't that give you comfort today that you don't have to come up with the ideas and the strategies, the witty inventions, but that's the purpose of the Holy Presence within you let the lord take over let the lord have his way and oh you're gonna have a wonderful beautiful day in every matter in every situation say let the lord have his way and he will give peace and joy know that psalms 24 reminds us because of today's date he is the one who owns us he owns the situation he owns that entity the earth is the lord in the fullness thereof, the world, and they, the people, the boss, the co-workers, that family member, he owns, he's in charge, and they that dwell therein. He hath founded the earth. He is the creator of all. So who, who should we go to? Yeah, in the beginning. And he has established it upon the floods. Then now our question is, who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord to be in his holy presence? Who shall stand in his holy place? Let's make sure that we are a clear vessel, clean vessel, pure intentions. Lord, create in me a clean heart because it says, he or she that had clean hands and have a pure heart who have not lifted up their soul unto vanity, mm -mm, nor sworn deceitfully. No, but he or she shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of their salvation. He's going to save us in that situation, in that meeting, in that circumstance. Just give it all to the Lord. Yes.
and he will use you, his very presence, and you are safe in his arms. When I was taking a bath today, because I'm like the Queen Elizabeth, I take morning baths, my radio was blasting, and I, I couldn't adjust the volume, but the song that came on all of a sudden was safe in his arms. Oh, that's confirmation that no matter what you're going through, just know that the heaven and the earth's earth are his, and he owns every situation, and he's in control, and just dwell in his presence and see what he's going to do. relax we can abide in your presence father no matter what we will face this week this second quarter the second term this very day you know so father lord we'll just rely in your holy presence god and take over and we will glorify you we'll be ambassadors wherever you point us to go father have your way and we'll worship you in spirit and in truth in the name of jesus we pray amen <music>